It is February 16th. It is Lila's birthday. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Lila. Lila. So we really hope you're having a good one down um, in Palm Springs. We're doing our chat face a little early today. It has just been a weird schedule today. I, I forgot <clears throat> some things were happening today, and then it was like rush to get that done, and then this is like the main time that we had today. To yeah. Do it. So you got us early. This is just between everything, so yep. we squeezed it in, and um, that's how it's been though this year, though with chat face. It's been kind of when we can squeeze it I in. I don't know what is going on. It. Yeah, it just seems like we gotta hurry up and squeeze it in and get it done. And yeah. I have fun doing it though. So yeah, it's just finding the time, time to, do, to it. do it. Um, so, but uh, other than that, we're just uh, celebrating today's holidays, which um, there's a couple fun ones for this upcoming week. Oh, speaking, did you do anything for Valentine's Day? Matt and I never really do anything. Like, I think he forgot it was Valentine's Day. Cause it was the <laughs> night before, I'm making all the kids' bags um, for it. Well, Vincent's had to be turned in on Friday. But Steve's bags for his class I was making on Sunday night, and we were throwing them all together. And Matt's like, what are you doing? I'm like, making the bags for Valentine's Day. He's like, oh, when's that? I'm like, that's tomorrow. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, good thing you do that with the boys, because otherwise they wouldn't get anything. I'm like, I know. That's why I don't ask you for help. And then you're like, by the way, Anthony, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. We just don't celebrate it. I mean, we don't really either, but I have to say, <clears throat> so, I just, I don't really like it. I feel like everything gets overpriced, and why, why do you need one day to say I love you when you should be doing it the whole entire year? Yep. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I'm telling Ashton, you know, I don't really like Valentine's Day. I just, I don't like it. I feel like everything's on a prize. And he's like, okay, okay. And I'm thinking, why is he acting so weird? So, uh, <clears throat> I figured I stuck my foot in my mouth because, well, my mom and Jack got me a card. Oh. Um, which is really cool because it folds up to this little bouquet of paper flowers. Very cool. Not that um, she's a plant lady or anything. Yeah, so I have it stuck in there. It's, it's easy to care for. I don't have to water it. I mean, it doesn't need light. And so Ashton is like putting the cards out, and then there's one, and I was like, he got me a card, and he's like, oh, like Valentine's Day. I said, but you know what? I love that it's from you. Anybody else, I'd be like, eh, but when is your kids getting it? For oh, you? yeah. I'm like, there's a difference, and it was just really, really nice, and because now he's working, so, mm -hmm. you know, he can go out and get a card himself, because he can drive, mm -hmm. he's got his own money, so, because, um, you know, when they're little, it's, like, hard for them to get something for you, that's oh, a surprise, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was like, oh, no, no, I'm really excited, because it's from you, <laughs> it's a nice word. I kind of stuck my foot in my mouth this week a couple times. It's okay. Yeah. It happens. Vincent, Vincent made one a card for Matt and I together, and then Steve made one for me, and then he came home and he made one for Matt because he felt bad that Dad didn't get one. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Friday, Steve brought his home. Oh. And he tried to spell beautiful, but it looked like I'm butiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so butiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so today's holiday though is do a grouch a favor. Oh well, somebody's gonna do me a favor today. Make, gonna... We should go do Mike a favor. I don't know. I've been kind of grouchy. <clears throat> you and him. That's why it's like yeah, it's kind of a grouchy day today. It is. So it's the funny thing is we were walking through the lobby today because we were measuring a couple. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, measuring, measuring something. <laughs> Measuring. <laughs> anyway, so we were walking through the lobby, and there's this Valentine's book that Megan has put up that said, 
Happy Valentine, uh, Happy Valentine's to the Grump, or what was it? Yeah. Valentine's Day for a Grump, or something. Yeah, something like that. And um, I was like, oh, that's your book. <laughs> yeah, that was probably it's like the Valentine's Grump or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, you should read that. That's probably about me. <laughs> I get grumpy when it's around my birthday. I don't know. It's just I get some people get really excited and real happy, and I'm like, I just get grumpy. Like. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> okay, come here on my birthday. <laughs> Everybody has a date. Tomorrow's random act, act of kindness day, though. Oh. Well, see. So you can be grumpy and grouchy and, today. Yeah. And then feel random act of kindness. Yeah. And then Friday um, is National Drink Wine Day. Oh. Who knew, Matt? We have a holiday to celebrate. <laughs> But wine gives me heartburn, so it can. Yeah. yeah. Can you stop something for wine and just, you know, pretend you're celebrating? Yeah. I guess you could have like a wine. Or sure, maybe cut it with some seltzer or something. I don't know. Maybe rum and just say it's wine. Well, what are those? What are those things that are fizzy now that I have alcohol in them? Oh yeah, it's the hard seltzers. Ooh, I wonder how those taste. I tried one. Um, one of my girlfriends had brought some over, mm -hmm. and she was drinking them. It. Okay, you remember the Boone Farm Kool Aid oh, stuff? Yeah. It's like that, but fizzy. I was not impressed. But some people really like them. I just, I don't know. There are so many memes on Boone. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheap. It was. <laughs> uh, let's see. Saturday is Love Your Pet Day. Oh, you should do that every day. Oh, wait, no, it's Sunday. Sunday, oh. Love Your Pet Day. Well, you know what? Just do it every day. And then the Winter Olympics will be over on Sunday. Oh, how often does it happen that the Winter Olympics and the Super Bowl are going at the same time? I don't know. That's a Google question. Yeah, I don't know either, but I feel like that doesn't happen very often. I didn't watch it. Or maybe it once every day. I didn't watch either one, actually. That's probably true. I actually, and I'm not a football fan, but I watched half of it, and I watched the halftime show. I didn't watch the second half, which is probably the most important, because, you know, who wins? Who wins? <laughs> um, but Jackson was, like, getting into it, and he still has Super Bowl on the brain, oh, because funny. now it's, like, on YouTube, and mm -hmm. so um, he's, like, Super Bowl on YouTube. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I think we're all past that now, but okay. <laughs> he, 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 he is still on the Super Bowl, so he, we might have to watch some football for him because he might like it. Yeah, he seems to enjoy it. I mean, it's going to lie. I enjoyed it a little bit. Maybe. I don't really know, like, all the ins and outs of it, but, you know, I have the basics of it, so. I'm the type of person, like, I don't ever really watch the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday is my exciting day of the year because no one's at the grocery store. Nobody is, <laughs> and nobody's on the road. It looks like there's something wrong because we were driving home when it was after the Super Bowl had started. We're about half an hour after it started, and we were driving back home, and I'm like, there's nobody out here. It's a little creepy. Like, the road was just empty. There was like one or two cars up there, but like going through Tila, mm -hmm. there was nobody on the road. Nobody. Well, Walmart was pretty pretty light on customers. I mean, it still had a fair amount, because, but it wasn't like a normal Walmart oh. Sunday afternoon trip. So that's, yeah. that's my excitement. Super Bowl's on. I'm going grocery shopping and not going to have to fight crowds. I went to Costco <clears throat> that morning. Well, when Joe and then I came back to Costco. And I mean, it was like, I, I, I got there before 10, 10, mm -hmm. grabbed my cart, walked over to the produce, grabbed my couple things, and I thought, I'll get a chicken mm -hmm. so I can shred it, it's a salad, mm -hmm. and chickens were already sold out by like 10, 10. Whew. Yeah, and so you were going to have to wait for some, but yeah, it was crazy. It was so busy. Winko was busy at 8 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. so everybody must have been getting ready. And then the guy, when I was leaving, was like, oh, are you having a healthy Super Bowl party? Because I have, like, salad and fruit. And I'm like, no. I don't have a Super Bowl party. 
Yeah, I think everybody was busy. They get ready and it's crazy before Super Bowl. Bad time to go shopping. We're still waiting to see what's going to happen with the baseball season. Oh, yeah, I just heard on the radio that it's still up in the air, so. Uh, I believe they were supposed to start, yeah, the, the it end of next to, week. It, pitchers and catchers should already be in checking say, in. Yeah, oh, that's what they said on the radio, but. So we will see. I mean, I know, I hear people say all the time, well, they make a lot of money. And they yeah. should be fighting about it. And I, I understand that. Because it doesn't become any cheaper for us. No. But. Right now, with what's going on, it's the owners wanting to keep more money, the players don't get any more money, and then they still upcharge us for us going. So, really, the owners are the only ones making a whole bunch of money at this point. Well, um, so it's kind of frustrating. And it, it, honestly, if you're working your butt off like you are being a professional sports player, you are constantly working out, you are constantly practicing, trying to be like a a good yeah. player at any point. And granted, I know they make a lot of money. They'll make, uh, I will never even see the amount of money that they make. But. Yeah. I I feel like it's professional sports. There is just, I know they work hard and I know it's a lot of stress, but it feels like there's something very wrong with the amount of money that they get paid. And, and what we have to pay to go to a game. And see, that's it. Like, it's, if they aren't going to give the players what they want and pay them more, then why are the owners making more? Yeah. Like, why don't they lower the price for the tickets for people to actually get to go? Because, I mean, mm -hmm. for a Mariners game, it's expensive. We wait for the, like, the $10 days mm -hmm. when you can go get tickets because to park is oh. 25 bucks. Yep. Then your tickets, there's five of us, so that's mm -hmm. 50 bucks, And then... Everybody gets a hot dog, and the hot dogs are eight to ten bucks. So there's another fifty yeah. bucks. So by the time you spend gas and get back, it's a two hundred dollar day. Well, and what did people pay to go for the Super Bowl? Oh my goodness, I can't even. Imagine. I mean, Super Bowl tickets. I mean, I get it's like a special game of the year, but you know, it's just getting so ridiculous for that stuff. It's hard to take the family. It to is do something like that if you're. Even middle income, like, especially mm -hmm. now, the price of everything. So. Oh, inflation is just terrible. So yeah. I, we feel for you guys. It's not easy out there. The grocery store is getting higher and higher. And they say gas is mm -hmm. possibly going to go up again. I mean, so, it's, yeah, it's crazy right now. It's not easy for anybody. No. Um, but, yeah, we even looked at the, the home run derby game because mm -hmm. oh, that would be, like, something fun, special to do. Mm -hmm. It was $500 a ticket. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Man. And that's not even like, it, it's like a once a year thing where they just hit a whole, whole bunch of home runs. Like it's not like an actual game you're watching a team play. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, how can people afford to take I don't know. That's crazy. But we'll see. I, fingers crossed. I'm going to hope baseball season mm -hmm. happens. I hope they can figure it out because honest to goodness, like, that's Matt's game. He looks forward to it every mm -hmm. single year. And, I mean, I have fun watching it with him because he gets so excited about it. And then the boys get so excited about it. And Steve always used to the, the Pittsburgh Pirates, which I have no idea why, but he loves Famous them. Famous Pittsburgh Pirates. Exactly. Um, but he he gets so excited, and they lose all the time. But the still roots for him. He's like, they're going to win. You know what? It he really <laughs> doesn't. I mean, I remember well, when the Seahawks were bad, mm -hmm. I mean, that was, like, for how many years mm -hmm. they were. And there were people that would, it doesn't matter, they would root for the Seahawks or the Mariners. I mean, well, the Mariners, Mariners bad are, for a lot of years. Yeah, but there are still, like, fans. But mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how bad they do. It's still your team, and mm -hmm. you're still rooting for them. And, you know, maybe one day it'll shock you. <laughs> maybe one day, man. That yeah. makes these day of the, the Pirates made it anywhere. <laughs> The Mariners almost did it last year. They were so close to the end. Yeah, I remember when they were good. Like, <clears throat> they were good. I mean, we went camping and my grandma would have to take the TV and you'd be up there with ears <laughs> and we'd have to make sure and she'd have to have the Mariners on because it was like Randy Johnson and then Lou Pinello. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, and they had, it, it was just, it was good. <clears throat> 
And then don't forget, Monday we are closed for President's Day. So if you come here, we are here. No, no, we will be enjoying our day off. Yes. Um, and then another announcement this Friday, our dance has been canceled. Um, Gary has some uh, medical issues that he's dealing with right now. Um, so he's not going to be performing for this coming dance or the Irish um, cuisine competition. We'll still have pre-recorded music uh, that will be Irish themed, and we'll still have the food competition, but um, we won't have Gary playing for us. But we hope, Gary, you get feeling better, yes. and we miss you. Get so. well soon, Gary. Uh, but just wanted to let you guys know, spread the word, let people know, because um, Friday, I know it's super short notice, but yeah. it's we will not have a dance. I know, I told some people because they asked, and mm -hmm. this was before we found out, and I'm like, yeah. Dance is Friday, so now I'm like, oh no. Mm -hmm. So just found out. So yes. Uh, other announcement. So I two weeks. I keep forgetting because it got mixed up in my newsletter, and I didn't realize it was in there. Oh, for volunteers alone. Yes. Yeah, so actually, I'm going to have mm -hmm. another one to announce next week. But this week, Carol, it is your week. Yay, Carol! So this is Carol, and she was our December 2021. Volunteer of the Month, because I know you guys are probably confused by how it goes, but yeah. we look at the, the volunteer hours at the beginning of the following, following month. month. So every, like for this one that I'll be announcing next week, uh, all of January's hours were looked at, and then it was chosen for February. So they're technically the January Volunteer of the Month. Mm -hmm. So it sounds backwards, but that's how we look at it, because if we say we're the February, they haven't even many hours so <laughs> doesn't really count. It makes sense. Yes. <laughs> it does. But anyway. So uh Carol is our volunteer of the month. She's from Yakima originally. She has three daughters, five grandchildren and three great grandchildren. Um she used to work for Libby's, was a teamster for seventeen years and then worked for the Yakima School District for twenty eight years, retiring as their food and nutrition manager at Davis High School. Carol loves to travel, go on cruises, enjoys the beach, walking, hiking, and being outdoors. She enjoys being organized, planning ahead, having fun, loves to laugh, and she can be a bit of a practical joker. Um, she always say she used to play all kinds of practical jokes on her husband. Really? Her and her sister would play oh, practical, practical jokes funny. on her husband. Carol first came to the Harmon Center after her mother passed to donate her time and volunteer. She met Lois. So, Lo, good job who was the Yakima Valley Senior Citizen Inc. president at the time, and Lois taught Carol into volunteering in the kitchen. Carol is one of the meal planners for Soup and Sandwich, volunteers for all of the taco feeds, barbecues, and helps with a variety of special events at the center. Come on down and meet Carol for Soup and Sandwich. She's normally here on Tuesday, so... Um, she is so sweet. She is super She's sweet. She's just the nicest lady. And, well, that's really funny about the pranks or the... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she does not look, look like she would be a practical great person. or great grandchildren. No. Oh my gosh, I mm -hmm. would never get that. We're still doing the women's shelter toiletry drive. I do have to say it's been going pretty well. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of stuff. And you know what? I'm proud of you guys because it's new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's like like my little pet project that goes through and digs through everything to make sure it's all new I, and organized and. I did have one question yesterday because somebody brought in um, feminine products, mm -hmm. um, and they're still all wrapped, mm -hmm. but they the package was open for all of them, but they were all individually wrapped, mm -hmm. and I said, that's fine, because yeah, they're, individually, they're individually, wrapped. individually wrapped, so I think, yeah, that's fine. Because, um, I, I mean, I, I mean, you know, sometimes you'll buy the wrong kind, and then... You know. But if it's like a package of toothbrushes and it's opened and not each yeah. one is individually wrapped, we That's can't. Yeah, we can't pass something like that on. Um, but yeah. Um. Then we have our dance canceled this Friday, and for the Iron Chef, there's no dance. It will be pre-recorded music. It's not going to be live. So just wanted you guys to be aware. How many people are entered in this so far? Four. Four. And if you want to join us for the Irish um, Chef competition, it's March 18th at 1.30. You would need to make about 100 
tasters, little tasters. Yes. They don't have tasters. to be big. Like it's like tasters. a bite, basically, that each person would have to try. So when the participants come in, they're going to get tickets, and they get to drop their ticket at each um, competitor's table to grab a taster. And then what will happen is they'll have a voting sheet after they go through everybody of the competitor's food, and they vote for their favorite. And then the top person that wins gets a prize and a trophy. The um, the key ingredient, though, for the Irish cuisine, because it, it is Irish cuisine, but if you make something a little bit different um, and like use the brownie. key, like, yeah, because mine will be brownies that I'm making. I make um, Guinness brownies with a chocolate ganache over the top of the of Guinness. And so your key ingredient is Guinness beer. So somehow incorporate it with Guinness beer. Um, and then you can enter the competition. If you if you would like to enter, give me a call, 575-6166. I will put you down. Like I said, it's just 100 little bite tasters. Because, I mean, I make like a double batch of brownies, and that makes 100 bite tasters. Mm -hmm. So are we supplying the little taster? Um, we will have a taster okay. cup um, that will supply. So they just have to bring their taster. Yes, just make sure there's enough servings to do a hundred of them. Mike, I'm talking to you. Because <laughs> it was like one year he, he just oh, ran out yeah, because he made some really big cool. cups of chili for everybody and then nobody could taste it. Yeah. Just uh, enough so they can just taste what you're... Exactly. What you mean, so they can vote. We had a good turnout for our new peeps meet and greet. So if you haven't been we to the Harmon Center, please come out, check out what we have going on. Um, so I always love meeting them and answering anybody's mm -hmm. questions and just kind of getting to talk about everything that we do here. It's fun. Well, and you know what's kind of nice too? A couple of people that have come, they're newer mm -hmm. to the center. Um, so it's kind of nice to get to know them a little better. Or, right. You know, so you get a little more familiar with them and it's nice to meet everybody. Also, our book club is not going to be this Monday, but next Monday. So if you haven't finished your book, try to finish Murder at the book club. Um, I, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was pretty good. It was a little wordy, but I, it was pretty good. So I'm excited to discuss it. I started on the next one. I have not gotten there yet. And then, I'm not going to lie, I fell asleep. But, but it, it could start slow. I think, because they're supposed to be... So from the reviews, because I said I thought, oh goodness, I'm not sure if I'm making mm -hmm. it through this book. Um, <clears throat> but I went on and read the reviews again because I'm like, okay, I gotta be missing something or maybe. But there's supposed to be a twist in the middle, so I just gotta get a little bit further. But I fall asleep all the time reading, so it's probably not the book. Right. Probably just <laughs> me, but there's supposed to be a twist in the middle, so <clears throat> it's 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 good. It. it it's just really detailed at first, but maybe that's because there is a twist in the middle. And and you guys have to understand, this is out of our comfort zone of, like, what we read. Yeah. I mean, Michelle reads nutrition, vegan, and psychology. And I read mostly psychology with a little bit of philosophy. So for us to read murder <laughs> mysteries is is really out of our comfort zone for reading. So I think the one that, <laughs> the one that is going to be most out of my comfort zone it's summer breeze. Oh, the <laughs> romance one. Yeah, I'm hoping it's good. It, that's, that's the point of a book club, though. It I mean, opens your eyes to new genres. It does. It does. Yeah, I mean, you could read a book and be like, oh, my goodness. I, or find an author that you really like and that you would have never picked, you know. So um, I think we should throw in maybe one of our favorites for the next one. You guys get a Michelle and Leslie pick. I think we should. Because <laughs> um, there are some good entertaining self-help or I don't know if you want to call them self-help but you yes. know um yeah we might have to throw a book in there because we are reading books out of our yes so maybe we'll make you guys read ones that's completely out of your comfort zone <laughs> or you won't read it at all because the funny thing is like we're reading them because we're facilitating this and so then we have the ladies coming in going well I'm just not going to read it and I'm going to go okay well yeah, I mean, I, you're supposed to try it. Try it. Just try. I, I'm going to read Summer Breezes. But That's true. We're both going to read Summer Breezes. We, we did find out that Debbie McComber, well, she's from Port Orchard. Yeah. So, so she, she is a Washingtonian. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
And they say her books are good. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it and see. And then, you know, I finished my book early. Mm -hmm. So I loaned my book to um, uh, Pam. So she's reading it now. But, like, if somebody can't or doesn't want to go buy it, we're trying to read them early so mm -hmm. you guys can do that. So check too. with us to mm -hmm. see. Because um, maybe we could do, like, a little list, you know, yep. put your name down, and then you could borrow it. Um, yep. So, yeah, I'm trying to finish it early. and. And the war, so that way maybe we can loan it to somebody <clears throat> to read. I'd like to try to, like, I'm trying to get it done before the 28th of February, so that way anybody at the book club can just go ahead and take yeah. it, um, and then we could make a sign up list, and that would give a month for people to pass it around if they needed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just gotta stay awake when I read. <laughs> I just need to sit down and read. I've been reading my own stuff lately, so it's the yeah. problem. Or I'm reading, you know, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? <laughs> I'm not reading really that, but I I try to put in my own stuff too, and yeah, yeah. But I, I I try to read like 40 pages a night or 50. Try. Right. right. <coughs> um. Let's see. Any other announcements coming up on the fourth Wednesday? We'll have our caregiver support group. Um. I know we've had quite a few people asking if we are going to have something for the person that is getting the care to be in while they take a break. At this time, we don't have anything. We're in the works of trying to get something put together at least once a month for the caregivers to get a break so they can, um, your person you're taking care of can go to a group and then you can go to the support group for your own. But um, it, at this time, we don't have anything. We're working on it. Um, and if we do get something put together, we will announce it on here as well as um, if you call the front, we'll let you know. Um, and then it's going to be March before we know it. It's crazy. Oh, I know. It's just flying by. It is. So I, Valentine's is over. So mm -hmm. halfway through Yay. February. And <laughs> Mardi Gras will be here before we know it. I've got a what special. Is that? It's March 1st. Oh. So I'll get a special okay. surprise for you guys. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I should bring it the Wednesday before Mardi Gras or just bring it on Ash Wednesday. Hmm. Technically, once you hit Ash Wednesday, you're supposed to be giving up something. But if you guys don't give up sweets, you'll be good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I never give up sweets. <clears throat> I sh I want to try, but you got to treat yourself once in a while. Yes. Yeah. Or else, you know, you're never just going to complete your half year goal. So. But other than that, that's about, about all the announcements I have. Um, just tooting along, getting everything ready for spring. If you guys do want something for the spring um, newsletter, as like we, we've gotten dinner clubs ready. Yep. Um, if you want to teach a computer class, if you have any other ideas you want to do for an education class, uh, get in touch with us because probably by the end of this month we're going to start wrapping it up and getting it all thrown in the yeah, newsletter. I got to put that together, so um, I need all that information. Yep. I want to talk about Lori's chair. <clears throat> oh, that's right. She did get a new chair. So. Lori, and I didn't even know because I, I didn't look at the email and then I didn't know that she, um, you know, wanted this chair and emailed them. <laughs> so she was sitting on the one side and I think she was doing books or doing something. So I went and sat in her chair and then I was thinking, oh goodness, how do you sit in this chair? It felt like it was going to break and it was the most uncomfortable thing I think I have ever Mm -hmm. And what she's been sitting in it, she said eight years. Mm -hmm. So then she told me, well, did you see the chair that they put out? Because, like, if they get rid of anything in another department, you can claim like it. Like steady surplus, I yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah. And so they had a chair at the police station that she ended up cleaning. Does it actually have seatbelt straps on there? <laughs> well, it's for the seatbelt <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we could use it like that. <laughs> so, this is um, what she's off the Starship Enterprise. Mm -hmm. It's her captain, is it Captain Kirk? Yep. Chair. Okay. So we, I drove 
down with her. We went to pick up this chair at the police station, which is really funny because we go through and then I set off little a, a, a metal detectors because for some reason I set them off all the time. It must be my personality. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not a I don't know. <laughs> that I don't know. Mom, are you not telling me something? So, you know, we got wanted and I was thinking, I can wand people. Mm-hmm. That would kind of be a fun job. Um, I don't know. I probably have to be a police officer to wand people. I don't know. Probably. I mean, if you have a volunteer position, I think oh, like, you're I, would, I would like I to would be a feel like I have the, the power. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I got wanded, Lori got wanded, and then we went in there and we're going up to the thing. She's, she's like, I'm here to pick up a chair. <laughs> the guy's like, huh? oh, okay, and then, so yeah, we got the chair and we wheeled it out of the police station. Oh, that's funny. And the guys that were standing here were like, <laughs> we come in with nothing, we, we leave, leave with, with a chair. chair. From the police station. From the police station. We're not stealing it. <laughs> I promise. So even though it has a rip in the side, it's like this game chair. So mm-hmm. <clears throat> Lori is very happy that she has a chair. Well, her brother, um, he was like into Star Wars. Yeah. Well, he did a lot of work with like Disney and... Yeah, yeah, so he likes all that, you know, he was into all of that. So she's got this little, I didn't even know what this was at first. The bottle opener. Yeah, it's a bottle <laughs> opener. And that must be the Starship Enterprise, I'm yep. assuming. Um, so it goes with her chair. Um, I feel like Lori is just going to have like a little, I, we should just make her office into the Starship Enterprise. She just has like a little fog machine as you walk into her office. I don't even know. I haven't even watched the show. It's like being She'll beam her up one day. Yeah. We're going to walk in her office and she's not there. Oh, I borrow that. (laughs) (laughs) Just in and out. Uh, So, yeah, now she's all set with her chair. Um, Her bottle. I don't know what what she's doing with her. What are you opening in there, Lori? No, I'm just kidding. What's the other one of her brother's stuff in there? She um, does. She that does. he had made or mm-hmm. special things, a reminder uh, of him. And so that was one of the yeah. things that I think her sister-in-law ended up sending her. Yeah, he had some really cool stuff. Very creative. And, I mean, his office was like, uh, she she should show the picture mm-hmm. when she's able to do the show um, next time because his office, was like what like space on the whole side it was um very cool very creative very cool um yeah she's got a lot of stuff in there um that's very meaningful but now she has a chair that matches it yeah yeah so and this chair is so much better i don't know how she's sitting in the other one like they had a piece of metal sticking out of the side of it so yeah we have quality Quality mm-hmm. furniture at the Harm Center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that is the story behind Lori's new chair. So if you come in and you have an appointment with her and she has got her captain's chair and now you know where it came from. <laughs> from the PlayStation. But they did not steal. No. <laughs> we were given it. Oh. Trying to think of anything else we need to announce? I don't know about it. I think so. Your birthday's next week. So oh, that's fun. I know. And Mike's birthday. Yeah, Mike's is next week. You get a two for one birthday celebration next Wednesday. Yeah, I think it's taking my birthday off. I don't know. That way, <clears throat> I'm just not acknowledging it, and it's just not going to happen. That's okay. We'll acknowledge it next Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know. Just a birthday makes me grumpy. But yes, Mike's birthday is mm. on Saturday. Yeah, it's on Saturday. Not too. this Saturday, but next Saturday. Yeah. So you guys will have to tell him happy birthday when you're in here. <clears throat> we'll just say he's turning 29. 29. That's right. 29. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 29 again, too. Exactly. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, we will see you next week. I don't know if it'll be pre recorded or live. We're we're trying our hardest to try to get this thing figured out because at one point we thought, well, maybe if we move up the time, that still didn't work. And then we thought, well, maybe if we just record earlier, and that didn't work. Yeah. And sometimes we're here, 
by one o'clock, sometimes it's 12.30, sometimes it's 11, sometimes we're trying to throw things together at 10. So who knows? Wednesday, you'll see us at some point. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Can you see us? Can you see us on there? We'll be on there Wednesday. I try to have it out by one o'clock. Sometimes it's one yeah. fifteen because Facebook doesn't like me to upload stuff apparently. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. But uh, we hope you guys are having a good day, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.